and we are back to Double Jeopardy. Um, let's see if this is the same travel and tourism as before. No. At a bullfight, you should try to get tickets for this Sombra section. The shadow? The shade, okay. That makes more sense than the shadow section. Because that sounds like, alright, this is the section that's waiting for the bullfighter to come, and then if he doesn't come, then we'll totally start playing the game for him. In summer, the changing of the guard occurs here daily at 11.30. Oh, that is easy. It is bucking. Ah, again, with the spelling and the, oh my gosh, this is ridiculously long. B, U, that is a U, right? Okay, I think so. Okay, and I... And I think I got the, the, the budgeting or the fidgeting thing fixed, but now for some reason the text is like much less legible. I don't know why that happened. Um, P, A, spell it with me one letter at a time, boys and girls. C, E, okay, yay. And we got some more money. I actually shouldn't be recording right now because my voice is kind of gone and I'm kind of sick. River on which you can take a ride on, the Maid of the Mist. The one in Africa? Niagara. That's not what I was thinking of. I just got a phone, I just got a text message. Hold on just a second, I'll cut this part out. Okay, sorry about that, let's uh, quickly resume our game here. Oh, Matt got money. That's right, because he said the Niagara. Alrighty, well, we'll just have to edit that out or something. Restina, which you can buy in Greece, is, um, these things. Restina is wine. Or, oh, Restina! Oh, that would have made all the difference. <laughs> Uh-oh, Matt's catching up now. Alright, well, fortunately, we'll be done with this travel and tourism thing. On a cruise ship, he's responsible for all accounts on papers and for passengers' comfort. The... Captain Stubin? The Concierge? The Purser? Okay, never heard of that before. But Matt is still in charge, so he's gonna pick TV trivia? Yep. Oh no, desserts! This French pancakes. Uh, oh no, crepes! Crepes! You need to give me enough time to read crepes! Well, that's good because, ha, I know that crepes aren't spelled with a Z, at least normally. So, ha, take that, Mr. Matthew. Well, I don't know if your name's actually Matthew or not. And oh my gosh, I'm getting more text messages. Ah, okay, well, it's buzzing right now. Uh, what are creepies? I, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I've eaten crepes before. I don't think I've ever had crepe Suzettes. But, whatever. Okay. Alright, let's continue our perusal of these, of these categories. Let's go back to TV. So, we're talking like 80s and before. Saying, this got you a hundred bucks and a visit from Groucho's Duck. What? I don't know. Slime. No. <coughs> Groucho's the se the secret wide. Oh, the secret wide. Okay, of course. Ah, I can't do a Pee Wee Herman impression. Okay. Martial arts film star who? Whoa, 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 Matt, Matthew, Matthew. We were good. We 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 said at the beginning that we were going to play this fair. Yeah, okay, fine. Yes, Bruce Lee was the Green Hornet. Well, was Kato and Green Hornet. Yes, yes. Alright, man, if that's how you're gonna play, if you're not gonna play fair, well then, we're just gonna have to up the rules here, aren't we? Um. There is nothing wrong with your TV set. Twilight Zone? Outer Limits. Okay, Matt is totally hack soaring now. I don't appreciate this, Matthew. I mean, yes, you're making the game go faster, but this is not what we agreed on. Bionic Woman, uh, oh, I don't know what her other bionic part was. I don't know. I barely remember the Bionic Man, let alone the Bionic Woman. 
She also had a bionic right arm. Okay. Edison. New Jersey. Oh, he's the wizard of Menlo Park. And that's him buzzing him, not me. I know, Matthew, you have to... When you're not playing fair anymore, Matthew. Stop it. I'm gonna make you boo if you stop doing that. Like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna choke you or something. Dessert's fine. Um, it's a whipped dessert, not an elk. What? A whipped dessert and not an elk is a caribou? Carib... I... What? A deer? A fawn? Uh... A moose? Oh! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, I never got that. <coughs> Edison felt this as handicap made it easier to concentrate. Um, what? What did he have? Was he? Oh, what's his handicap? His handicap was being too awesome. Oh, he was deaf. I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, commission to improve a Tom added a carbon transmitter which increased its audibility. Oh, um, oh, I don't know how you print, how you spell this thing. The gramophone, which was the thing that eventually became the record player. I don't know if it's gram A or gram O. Gramophone. I don't know which one it is. Uh... I don't even know this is what the what they're looking for. They might be looking for a record player. I don't know. Yes, gramophone. That's right. It's right. Take that, Matthew. Okay, so all right, let's get let's just try more desserts and food. Uh, fuzzy green fruit. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Matthew. Matthew. Now you're just being mean spirited. Now you're just Matthew. There, you're boo now. You're boo, daba D. boom. <coughs> Take that, Matthew. Alright, so Edison defined it as 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration hard work. Yes, we know this. Oh, but Matthew didn't. Okay. Um, or wait, is it hard work or success? Um, shoot. I want to say it's success. Yes. Or genius. I don't know. Uh, success is not. We, I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm trying to go back to my motivational posters of the time. No, it is not success. I am unsuccessful at this question. Oh, it was genius. Don't. Man. Well, not often do you have to go to your third guess to get the answer right. Usually it's either your first guess, your gut answer or your second one. This large city's downtown area was first to be lit by an Edison Central Power Station. Oh. Chicago? Somewhere in New Jersey? Trenton. No, oh, New York City. Okay. Huh. Sorry, I keep forgetting to do the color swaps. Dessert. Cream pie named for this city is uh, yes, it's Boston cream pie because it's, yeah, it is a cake, isn't it? Huh? Now why do they call it a cream pie? Cause I I don't understand. Do you even have beans, Mr. Boston or Mrs. Boston or whatever kind of uh gender you want to associate your city with? If you want to. Oh no, Daily Double. Uh, um, fun times. Let us wager 800. <coughs> Alright, could have done 80 bucks, but. White frosting named for the number of minutes it is cooked. Well. What is five minute meringue? I don't know. <laughs> Frosting named for the number of minutes it is cooked. I don't know. 
I don't even know how you spell meringue, like lemon meringue. Isn't it like meringue or something? Yeah, I think so. Meringue? Or am I conf confusing that with the, the music? I don't know. I'm so disheartened right now. Five meringue. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if it were true, if it were right. What is seven minute frosting? What? At least I'm still in the lead, barely. At least I have that much going for me. Ah, well, we're down to foreign exchanges and animals. Alright. Scooby Doo, goof out. Ebony, No! No! I totally buzzed in first, Matthew! Matthew, I totally buzzed in first! How dare you steal away the easy question! Why are you being so mean to me, Matthew? <laughs> we were, were, we're supposed to be friends! <laughs> Alright, foreign exchange. Uh, this country changed its currency from the pound to the shekel. Seeing as most of these uh, currencies no longer exist, this is going to be a very fun category. Ireland, I don't know. Oh, Israel. Oh, I'm thinking pound like Great Britain, England, pound. The shekel. This neighboring country's franc is worth more than France's franc. Was it one of the ones in the last category about like Luxembourg and Austria or something? Switzerland, okay. Yeah, Swiss francs are gone too. So, this is, that is not going to be a fun category. Central American Revolution, whose currency is the Balboa? Was that what, Did I read that right? Oh, Panama's. I have no idea if that is still true or not. As Matthew takes the lead. Ugh. Matthew. Japanese who love their desire have... Wait. Who love... Yen. It's Yen. That's not... I don't have time to read the questions anymore, Matthew. You're such a meanie. You're depriving the viewers of their opportunity to hear me read the question because obviously that's what they care about in these kinds of things. Ah, <sighs> okay, anyway, so... You know, let's just finish off this currency thing. Uh, it was a standard currency in ancient Greece and still is today. Uh, starts with a P? Drachma. Okay. Definitely not what I was thinking of. But now we get to answer answer questions about animals! Yay! Eager animal that symbolizes Canada. Beavers. Eager beaver. Which doesn't even sense because it only kind of rhymes but not. I forget what that word is for like when it's a word that kind of rhymes but actually doesn't, like eager beaver. I mean it has the E and the er part, but not the actual continent of rhyming. <coughs> but so there, Matthew. Take that. Now I am in co possession of the lead. And last place. They include killers, humpbacks, and sperms. Oh, oh empty, empty. whales, whales, whales. I'm like, the killers? I like that band. Alright. Anyway, so we are actually getting pretty close to this thing, so I'll include the Final Jeopardy round in this uh, video. I won't make that something else, like a separate video, just because this has gone on plenty long enough. Oh my gosh, it's just... And I give up on the... I think I've given... I'm, I'm giving up on the whole color scheme. Oh, boy. Oh boy. You know... Uh, no guts. Well, that's not really saying no guts, but... The fastest gait of a horse. What? The fastest gait? Is that like the fastest that they run? Is a... Well, I mean, there's a trot. Um... Ah! What is a sprint? I honestly don't know. I don't actually understand the question. So the fastest gait. Um, yeah, I don't get the question at all. So the fastest gait of a horse. Yeah, no idea. A ga Oh, I was close. 
Well, in the sense that I kind of understood what they were talking about, but I was well. My second guess was a giddy up, but well, I have to get this question now just to be con uh, contendable. Tibetan ox used to carry travelers and mail. Oh, 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 yaks. <laughs> what is a yak? Okay, that's a animal I haven't thought about in at least ten years. But they're still there. Yay, yaks. Uh, oh, oh, I am in the lead. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm in the lead. As we go into Final Jeopardy, this is exciting now. Uh, um, yep, yep, and in turn the player will be asked how much of their... I don't know how much, um, Matthew is going to wager. So I just, should I just assume that he's going to bet all of it? I mean, I don't know what, what Matthew's stakes are. I don't know what he's playing for. If he's playing for himself, or if he's playing for others. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Um, yeah, 4,000. Okay, awards. Alrighty. Mathematician Bertrand Russell won a Nobel Prize in this area. I don't recognize the name. I honestly don't recognize the name. However, Nobel Prizes are usually given in stuff like physics, economics, world peace, stuff like that. So, economics is my best guess. I honestly don't know. Bugger. Oh. Well, it looks like Matthew also got it wrong, but the question is how much did he wager? No! No, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> this was not a great game. I might actually contemplate revisiting this in the future when I feel better and stuff, but oh, I, I don't know. Do I seek revenge on Matthew? I don't know. Alright, this is Big Max saying later.